Hi guys, my name is Julia. I'm one of the creators of Kapwing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a meme style video. And by that, I mean a video that has um, a title embedded above it and subtitles below it. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to do that by using Kapwing, which is a free online video editor that's designed for beginners. So you don't have to have any like prior experience going into it. You'll know how to make this video um, just by opening up the tools. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to get started by just going to Kapwing. Um, you can see I'm just on Google here. I'm going to type in K-A-P-W-I-N-G to find the home page and click on the first results. So here's Kapwing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click get started because I'm trying to use the main studio tool and this get started link will take me there. Okay, you can see that I have two choices here. I can either start with a blank canvas or go ahead and upload my video. Now, I want my video to be a certain size. I want it to be one by one. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a blank canvas so that um, I can like size my video on the canvas rather than having it take up the whole canvas. Okay, then um, you can upload your video in any uh, like in a number of different ways. You can uh, choose it from your camera roll here. Let me move my face. Um, you can choose it from your camera roll or from your uh, computer just by clicking on this upload button and then uh, clicking here. You can also just drag and drop it onto the canvas if you're on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here's my video file. Um, I took it while I was at a conference in San Diego like a couple months ago at Social Media Marketing World. It's a pretty big file, so you can say it, it like takes a little bit, you know, a second to upload, um, but just be patient as your video uploads. Um, this tool supports videos that are up to 500 megabytes big. So as long as your uh, video is, you know, I would say like less than like 20 minutes long um, and something that you recorded with your phone rather than with like a really high resolution camera, then um, you should be fine. Another important feature of Kapoing, I, I didn't really show it off there, but you can actually import uh, videos directly from YouTube, which means that you can make meme style videos from your YouTube videos, which is great for repurposing YouTube videos on Instagram. Okay, here we go. Here's my video loaded on the um, on the canvas. Um, you can see that it's a landscape video, one that I just filmed with my phone um, in landscape mode. Um, here's the seeker. I can play it. And Pretty and there's my video. I just, you know, stuck my arm out like this. I can't, I can't really see and just filmed it like selfie style um, in the streets of San Diego. Okay, so how do I make this into a mean style video? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to size it correctly. You can see that I just use all these, uh, these sliders at the corners to make adjustments and I can just drag to remove. There's a nice snap too, so I can make sure it's centered. Um, and then I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is add a, a title, like a static title above um, my video to make it a meme style video. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and click this text button in the main toolbar. Click that. I can have this. Okay, here's my sample text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type in what I want my title to be here. Um, let's see, um, meeting, or I'll say social media marketing world. That's the conference that I was at. Um, I can choose a custom color. Our colors are purple, so I'll probably do purple. Um, I can choose a font. I'm going to use Railway because that's my brand font. I can just search for it and find it there. Um, we have thousands of fonts. All of the Google um, font library is loaded into Kapwing, so you can use any one of those, and you can browse them, find one that looks good for you. And then I'm going to position it. You can see that uh, Kapwing dynamically resizes my text so that um, I don't have to worry about um, I don't have to worry about like exactly uh, the sizing of the text. I can just position the box uh, how big I want the box to take up, and it'll automatically sort of resize it for me. Oops, someone's calling me. Let me cancel it. Okay. Um, okay. So now I've added my title. You can see above the video. Um, let's see. Does that look good? You can see that it previews the video fully. I'm going to give myself a little more space on top so that I have a little bit more space here. And I just use the arrow keys to adjust. Okay. So there is my title. And that's the first step to the meme style video. The second step is to add subtitles. Um, oh, and I can also just watch the videos through here. I'm using the seeker at the top. Which I'm super excited about. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is playing there. Awesome. Okay, so now um, I'm going to uh, add my subtitles. Um, in order to do that, I need a different one of Kapwing's tools. So um, this video looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and click Publish to publish this video. Uh, but actually, before I do that, I want to show you guys just some of the other things that you can do 
um, on your video using Kapwing. So Kapwing is like an all-in-one video editor. It's really nice. I can go ahead and trim my video. Like let's say I want to shorten it so that only a section of it is playing. I can do that. Um, and let's see here. I can um, do all sorts of other different things. I can change the background color if I want to make the background color like my brand color. Um, I can add audio. I can do, I can resize it so it doesn't have to resize it for my story or for Facebook or whatever size I want. Um, I can add stickers, watermarks, um, all sorts of things with shapes and images. So um, yeah, have fun exploring Kapling Studio. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and just click publish. Okay, so your video will be processed on remote servers, which means that it won't heat up your computer, which is super nice. So all of this is happening on Kapwing servers in the cloud. Another nice aspect of that is Kapwing, we use really fast servers. So um, oftentimes this loading uh, process will go a lot faster than if you were using Adobe Premiere and you just like export it on your own device. Um, another nice thing about remote processing is you don't have to have a fancy computer to use Kapwing. You can use it literally on any internet connected device. You can use it on a feature phone, in you know whatever like a developing country you can use it in on um, tablets you can use it on chromebooks in the classroom you can use it anywhere um that uh as long as you have internet you'll be um you'll be fine it could because it doesn't require sort of like intense processing um so you can see my video is getting close to done it went through that sort of like 100 percent cycle otherwise we'll just twiddle twiddle our thumbs and, and wait for this to be done um so the next step after this i guess i'm going to go ahead and get it loaded in the next tab is that you're going to open kapwing's subtitle maker so i'm just going to type in kapwing subtitles here um and then i'm going to click here on the first results add subtitles to video streets of san diego Oh, about to go have dinner I hear it. There is my video. You remember uh, the one I just made. Okay, great. So you can see this video is 20 seconds, 21 seconds long. I'm going to go ahead and download it to my computer. Um, there it is, downloaded on my computer. Now I come here to my uh, subtitle maker, and I'm going to go ahead and re-upload this video clip that I just made to add subtitles to it. Um, so yeah, now here my video is uploading. You can see... Um, that uh, a little bit about how it works here. You're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and type out the subtitles as I listen to the video, so that the dialogue is right, and then I'm going to match the timing of those of those uh, sentences with uh, with the sound as it occurs in the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that first step, which is typing out the subtitles. Really easy for anyone. You don't have to have any sort of like professional video editing experience to be able to use this tool. You just type out exactly the text that you want and you adjust things around. Now, Kapwing also has aspects that are not manual. So for example, let's say you use rev.com or some other subtitling service, you can actually upload an SRT file here. Another option for instead of manually subtitling is that you can auto-generate the caption. So um, I got kind of bored of doing uh, my captions here, so I'm going to go ahead and try this auto-generate uh, feature. So this feature uses um, machine learning to uh, listen to your voice and transcribe the dialogue. Um, I am from the US, but you can uh, you can see here there's a bunch of different, uh, not just languages, but also dialects. So if you're English or Australian and you're really annoyed at like Google's API not understanding your voice, just come here and choose the right dialect before you transcribe. Um, so you can see here, this is a pretty short video, so it shouldn't take too long, maybe like uh, 15 seconds to listen to the video and then add the text to the subtitle editor. So you can see here, um, that uh, that Google has accurately um, transcribed a lot of this video. You know, I didn't type this text, but that you've digitally interacted with online. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to meet Tom and Serena face to face. We'll let you know how it goes. Let's see, does that match what I actually say? You know, only chatted with or like digitally interacted with. So yeah, I'm excited to get to meet Tom and Serena face to face. We'll let you know how it goes. And yeah, so you can just just make any changes to this that you want to. If you know, if uh, if the voice recognition API didn't get it correct, um, I'm gonna adjust the the sentence so that it's all in one line. And yeah, that uh, looks pretty good to me. Okay, so Kapwing actually burns your subtitles directly into the video, and that's part of making a meme style video. Is you actually want this text to appear right here on the video, um, and because of that, you get to adjust the styling before you actually create your video. So, um, for me, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the text styling to be similar to the uh, styling that I added for the title. So I'm going to go ahead and change my font to Railway. You can see I still have all of those font options here. Here's Railway. Oops. <clears throat> 
I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, color of the font to be that purple, the same purple that I used in the title. I'm going to get rid of this background, this outline, because um, uh, because I don't need it. In this case, I already have this like white uh, positioning that comes from the meme style video that I made before. And I'm going to unbold it, I think, so that it's um, the same uh, font weight as the top. Oops, you can see that here I in my preview, I can see that there's like an overlapping subtitle. I'm going to go fix that. Now this looks pretty good. I might even change the size of the font a little bit so it's a little smaller. Um, there it makes it fully below my video, which I like. Um, and yeah, then I'm going to click create. Oh, actually, before I do that, I want to show you. You can also change, um, let's say that I uh, subtitle my video and I want to publish this post on Instagram, but also maybe on like Twitter or on um, my story or something like that. I can change the size of the whole post so that, um, uh, oops, let's see here. There it goes. Um, so that it fits better on my other on my other surfaces, on my other social media surfaces. Um, I can also align the text differently. So if I want to put it at the top of my post, or if I want to put it right in the middle, um, that would that sometimes works well for different meme styles too. Okay, but in this case, I'm going to switch it back to the original fit, which was uh, one by one. I'm going to move this back to the bottom. Now it looks awesome. I'm going to go ahead and click create. Awesome. So now my meme style video is being processed. So um, yeah, hopefully this video has been helpful for you showing you how to make a meme style video. Meme style videos are super popular on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, a um, bunch of different platforms, especially for these like vlog style videos. So if you're like a coach or a motivational speaker or any sort of thought leader who um, has like a particular expertise in a space that you want to share, then you should try out these meme style videos on social media to see how much more um, traction and brand recognition and, and ultimately like clients and business it can bring in for you. Um, and yeah, the reason that uh, meme style videos do really well is the subtitles appeal to people who don't have their sound turned on on social media. And so um, you reach people even who are not listening technically. So that's really valuable. Yep. And here is my meme style video. You can see that the text is literally burned into the MP4, which means that anywhere that I share this video, every user, every viewer of this video uh, will see the text in exactly the same way. I can download that, share it to Instagram, share it to any other platform, and that is how you make a meme style video for social media. Awesome, thank you so much for watching. Um, we are a tiny startup, so please let me know if you have any questions about Kapwing. Um, it's free to use, but in the free version, you'll have a like small watermark in the corner that you can pay to remove if you want to, or you can just share with the watermark. Um, yeah, let me know if you run any, into any problems or you, if you have ideas for improvement. We're like constantly developing and making the product better, so we'd love to hear from users. Um, thanks so much. And also, oh, if you um, like these kinds of videos where you learn about uh, video editing tasks, um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can um, get more of these uh, style videos, these tutorial videos um, that are designed for social media managers and um, for people who are new to video editing uh, using really simple um, this really simple on online studio. Thanks so much, um, and I will see you later. Bye.